<laughs> Greetings. This time we will be building the left thigh. These are the components. This will be your outer. Very easy to identify this piece. This, the inner. Okay, the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that I've already marked it. I will review these markings so you understand how they came about. Right, so no point in delaying, let's get straight in with the shears. Ooh, point of notice. This is going to be visible on your finished armour. So, as a point of reference, when we built the opposite thigh, we didn't concern ourselves too much with this piece because there's going to be a belt over there so it wasn't um, massively important now if you got this really badly wrong and it doesn't look anything like this then maybe just take a moment to reevaluate what happened there before you do this one because on this one we've got to get out of jail card because it's covered and that's that's the reason why we do the right thigh, thigh first because it's already given you a bite of the cherry of getting this one correct okay right now we've got that out of the way let's get back down to the shears little trick for you i've got here a piece of spare abs then I've got this sandpaper, which is from a um, car body place. You could probably buy it online. I'll see if I can find it on Amazon and share it on the page because it may be available. But what this is, is a self-adhesive backed sandpaper. Now you can probably super glue it anyway. And what I've got is a nice piece of ABS and I've just stuck that adhesive paper onto it. Just gives me a nice, nice little homemade tool for sanding the, uh, certainly this area of the, of the thigh that we want to match up nice. Okay, let's get on with the rest of the trim. So it's not it's not just all flat if you sanded it like you know like this it's not quite going to work because you've got some curvature it's more sanded in this fashion but then difficult to explain but i think i think you'll get it that's why i've, I've i leave a sort of little step on it so it almost steps that way the curvature gets it we'll see if i can explain it a little better as we move into the into the bonding together section let me give you some sizes before we, before I forget. So around the top of the thigh, same as we did last time, around the nice, the fattest part. One, three, five. I'm a little over here, so I'm gonna trim a little bit more out. One, three, five, that's where you wanna be. And if you remember, the inners were 50 mil. 50 millimeters on this flat edge. You remember it from the last thigh build. Okay, so I'm gonna trim a little bit more out of that. I'll, I'll do that with the sandpaper and the, the humorous action. For now, I'm gonna trim this out with the shears. So I'm going to give these, both of these sides, a bit of a trim. In fact, before we do that, let's cut away some of this excess because again, we only need to be having about this much on the return edge. So we can trim, we can trim this away, it's just extra plastic we don't need. 
and again trim this away I don't think it's I talked about it last week and I should have thought about it didn't get it out but let's let's quickly look at the bottom you see the bottom there the shape that's going on you can see how it doesn't it's not a return edge go straight into the corners it's round that's because your leg isn't this shape you don't need that if you want to leave more return edge in if you try it on your test fitting it and that's not working trim a little more out but you don't need to be following these lines the straight lines because your leg isn't that shape it kind of makes no sense that's definitely not what they did on the original suits the original suits i don't know if we can probably um, stick a couple of pictures on while I'm speaking at the moment that would be nice if Mr Clark can arrange that but on the original suit the way this is trimmed out underneath I've just showed you the this leg and we're going to do this one the same and that that's sort of trimmed out and it's all nice and rounded if you're going for that original suit look then you need to forget these and you need a knife and fork because they're just hacked out they're absolutely hacked to, to bits and they're just uneven um, probably not the look that you're going for but it's there that's what it looks like this is a photo this is an original suit that you're looking at right now look at the way it's trimmed out so i'm just going to quickly trim these out with the dremel um, with the cutting disc just to make it faster and sanding all this material away whether it be with the dremel or sandpaper that would be nuts you'd be here for weeks change the head to the music sanding and we're going to be in a position to offer these up together so that's the next job let's do this Let's combine the two halves and see what we have. So even though we do that straight line with the template, when you're sanding and cutting and manipulating the plastic, it's, it's twisting and distorting. So it's not always going to be the result that you thought it was going to be. So you may need to do a little bit more work to get to that point but it's all achievable. So we're lining through on the top and the bottom. Now, unlike on the right thigh, these two points don't line up absolutely perfectly. But I think to have this looking nicer at the bottom is a little more important on this particular one. So I'm just gonna run the cover strips as far down as I can, and that's fine. I'm happy with that. If you wanted to move this up, misalign it ever so slightly so that those meet, then that's fine also. But I just want to reposition that slightly. Okay, around the back. So basically we, all we're doing is putting these two pieces up together and then using a little gaffer tape to hold it in place. This is our top, let me get that so you can see it. We need the background on it, there we go, that's better. This is our top. This is where it's meeting, and the bottom is meeting like this. Again, I'm quite happy with that. So that is the left thigh. That's what she's looking like. So at this point now we've got a couple of thighs. These are going to need a tiny, tiny amount of uh, trimming, probably before we go straight to the cover strips. But in a nutshell, I'm happy with them. They're done. There you go. Simple as that. This is how we build stuff. So if you need a kit, you can get on the website. 
If, however, you've seen this and you think, this is not for me and I don't have the time, don't worry. We also have fully built commissions and fully built stuff, or again, all on the website. Just click through, choose your character, it's all there for you. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.